to look behind the curtain here. Final preparations for the challenge ahead. Hoping to come out of the gates strong. Traffic heading in and out of downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota. The setting for our broadcast tonight. Happy New Year's Eve. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports for the NBA. We're all dressed up and ready to go. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Now let's take a look at some of the numbers for Carl Anthony Town. He's been playing a much bigger role in their offense over the past five games. It comes across in his usage rate, which has gone up during that stretch. We'll see if they continue to lean on him here tonight. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Kevin, thanks. Well, among the league's deadlier weapons now is the step-back jumper. Steph Curry said, you're always in control of the situation with that move. It is pretty effective. Portland's Damian Lillard said it's a tough off-balance shot, so it takes a lot of work. But people around the league are putting in that work to become even more effective. Guys? Thanks, David. Not many teams have the personnel, Greg, to work the ball through the post, but that's what we're going to see plenty of tonight. These two teams can do it. No doubt, Kevin. It can really add a dimension to your offense, and it creates different rotations defensively, especially when you've got someone down low that's going to demand a double team. And so I'm interested to see, in essence, some old school basketball in terms of how teams rotate out of that post. Uh -huh, I am too. A look at the San Antonio Spurs opening lineup. Johnson is out there with Nemanja Bjelica. Then there's LaMarcus Aldridge. Then there is Derek White. And it's Murray in at the point guard. And for the Timberwolves. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with James Johnson. And there's D'Angelo Russell. And it's Trier in at the two. What a gamer this guy is. D'Angelo Russell relishing the opportunity to play through contact. Murray with the bounce pass. Here's Aldridge. That one misses. Towns with the defensive effort. Here's Johnson. And he comes up with the deuce. So White will bring it up for San Antonio. Four-point game. Right side, Aldridge. And that one off the back of the rim and in. That mid-range, Jay, just no problem for a big man like LaMarcus Aldridge. Really, he has patented that jump shot. Now, here is Russell. A 20-point game for him in the win against the Pacers in Indianapolis. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy, as a playmaker, was a driving force for that offense. Here's Bialica after the made shot from Carl Anthony Towns. Over in the corner, White. Here's Murray. Just five on the clock. Aldridge. The shot, no good. And Minnesota will come the other way. Over to the left wing. Outside, Russell. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Aldridge. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's White. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. The shot, no good. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Freer from long range. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. And White kicks to Murray. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. San Antonio again missing. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. And the shot goes down. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Now here's White. To the inside. Aldridge. Count that one. And guys, if you let Aldridge get inside with the ball, you've already lost. I mean, it's too big, too strong, too skilled. Here's Russell. His numbers are borderline ridiculous in the best way possible at the moment. He's averaging nearly 33 points a game. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. This is his first free throw of the game. 
got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. So he makes both from the line. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Outside, Russell. Back to Trier. Murray against Towns. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard. Here are the team leaders in steals. You need to play heads up against these squads. Number five, the Spurs. You can't get careless with the basketball against this group. I mean, they'll pick your pocket, and, and no surprise to see them in the upper echelon as far as steals. Here's Aldridge. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. So it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Minnesota. And Doris, the offense is there for Towns. That, that's obvious. But how does he improve defensively? Well, you make a great point, number one. He's always carried such a heavy burden offensively. Remember, this is a big guy, actually size 20 feet. So quickness laterally has always been an issue. For me, it's about one thing. Know your personnel and play smart angles, and that should help immensely. They get it back. Russell, and the layup's good off the glass. Well, to me, it's huge when D'Angelo gets to the glass. This guy has the ability to use his athleticism to his advantage. Here's White. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Here's Russell. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Russell's got six. The Minnesota Timberwolves coming to this one after the win against Indiana. Murray with it. Now guarded by Town. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. That's on D'Angelo Russell. And what a tremendous career for LaMarcus Aldridge. I mean, so many double doubles. A rim protector break, makes plays for others. Man, the two list shot. goes on. First free throw is good. Fans can be impatient, Greg, especially for the fans of teams that are slow to start a season. And Kevin, the media as well. Right, I mean, right. I played in New York, and you, you know, in that town, you go big or you get talked about. No <laughs> doubt about it. But with the way things have evolved now, and every team is a national team because every game's televised, uh, it's starting to happen more in some of those smaller markets as well. It's just a harsh reality of pro sports. Here's Trier. Against Indiana, he was really on his game. Let's it go. San Antonio with the rebound. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Total embarrassment. I, I was shocked at how poorly they played. I, I think they were shocked. Well, frankly, they should be shocked. I mean, that kind of effort simply won't cut it in today's NBA. Let's see if they take any lessons from it. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. And last season, Carl Anthony Towns shooting over 40% from three-point range with over eight attempts a game. I mean, Greg, he is in the conversation, don't you think, for best three-point shooting center of all time? It's amazing, Kevin. His volume of threes is unprecedented for the center position. And it's not just standstill. Catch and shoot triples. He's hitting step backs. He could have that title when it's all said and done. Make no mistake, Carl Anthony Towns has all the skills necessary to be amongst the best players in the league. What a problem he poses for defenses, guys. Now, here's Mills. He's coming off a 16-point game against Charlotte. Johnson, he trains it as the shot clock ticks down. 
Minnesota's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. McLaughlin, the pass to Russell. Good on the three-point shot. Russell's got nine points. Boy, he's heating up fast coming out of the gate. Four out of five from the field. Now here's Mills. Defense is right there. Buries the long-range jumper. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Russell. Sweet little floater. And the Timberwolves lead by three. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy timeout, timeout. making plays. What a quarter. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. For viewers, timeout's a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the teams, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Layman's checked in. Spurs also with the sub. Summonich has checked in. Gibson passes to Walker. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on D'Angelo Russell. Well, a look at Lonnie Walker, the 18th pick in that 2018 draft. He's being brought along slowly as the team oh, loves his potential. But he has a Who's lot up? to smooth out with his game. And the first one drops. Ray, you talk about the upside with Lonnie Walker. This team loves his athleticism. You know, not the typical Spurs-type player we've seen targeted in the past. Uh, an athletic maniac who can fly end to end. The polish to his game will come. It's just going to take some time. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Reed's checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Minnesota in the lead. Here's McLaughlin. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Lehman. And there are the Timberwolves with another button. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for San Antonio. Whoops it up for Walker. And what an alley you Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Here's Reed. Guarded by Walker. Fires from 14. Reed misses. Just doing the job on the backboard. Walker taking his time here. Passes to Gibson. And here's Mills for three. Spellman with the rebound. Minnesota's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Lehman pass to Reed. Back to Lehman. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. That's their third straight make off an assist. And Walker kicks to Mills. Back to Walker. The pass to Gibson. Here's Simonich. Six to shoot. Pass to Mills. The three. Bangs home the trifecta. Mills has got it all tied up now for the Spurs. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Ray, can you really compare players from completely different eras? I mean, people love to talk about the greatest of all time. You know, Kev, some players do transcend eras. There's no doubt about that. Wilt's a great example, and there are many others. But, but in reality, to your point, the style and the way in which the game was played was so different. 
uh, that it isn't fair. I mean, all you can be is the best of your generation or one of the best. And I, I think that should stand no matter what the conversation is. Like, there's no doubt in your mind Oscar Robertson could play in this era as well as he played when he played. No doubt. Bill Russell, all those guys yes, are truly yes. great ones. So much of your ability to perform at a high level is built around your confidence and your belief in your abilities. And those guys had it as much as anybody who's ever played the game. Shots good by Mills. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. Here's Lehman. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. That's his first person. The Timberwolves shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. Two shots. Last on the first. The first free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Looking at Minnesota, they took the win in their last game against the Pacers in Indiana. Mills passes to Gibson. They kick out to Walker. The second chance effort. That one, no good. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. Now here's Mills. He's got five. And the foul called on Amari Spellman. That's his first foul. One oh four left in the first quarter of the game. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. And they should because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. So it's the Spurs now following the bucket by the Timberwolves. And a wide open look for Walker. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Clock management. This is where they can get a two for one. And Kevin, every opportunity counts. To read that one rolling around and rims out. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Mills looking it over. Just four to shoot, and here's Walker outside. <laughs> D'Angelo Russell getting it done for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Back to the action after this word. And catching up with Carl Anthony Towns, he talked about what this team needs to improve upon to get to the next level. Talk about the message of discipline. Sometimes our discipline gets away from us, and I think that's what happens on our defensive end. You know that our discipline um, lacks, and we're starting playing free basketball, and uh, it's not team basketball. And Greg, of course, we see many teams having this issue. The game is so fast-paced now; it's hard for guys to value each and every possession. That often leads to careless play at both ends. Getting back to the action in our New Year's Eve broadcast. And guys, what's your take so far on the Timberwolves? They set a physical tone in the first, and that really showed on the backboard. I think it's why they hold the lead here early, because they're controlling the flow of the game with those second-chance opportunities. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play on the court for Minnesota. We've got Trier, and it's Reed in at the five. And with that shot, the Minnesota lead is cut down to just four points for the bucket from Mills. And 
Donovan Mills in the NBA for over a decade now, GA, but he still has incredible speed that's key to his game. And, and Kevin, with Mills, that end-to-end -end speed doesn't get shown off too often. In the half court, though, he does a great job of What's creating up? looks for himself, accelerates off of screens, can still leave a defender in the dust when he turns it on. No doubt, Greg, you were known being a gritty, in-your-face defender. And when you think of the most hard-nosed point guards in the NBA today, who comes to mind? For me, I think Chris Paul, I, I go first because this guy, one, he's a phenomenal two-way player. He'll do whatever it takes to win, if, even if that means pushing the envelope a little bit. Pat Beverly is another guy, just a flat-out bulldog. Marcus Smart, I think, falls into that category. Again, it's not always about being the most talented, but if you bring an edge about you, that really permeates throughout your team. So those are some guys. Drew Holiday is another guy I throw mm -hmm. into that mix as well. Yeah, they all lock in. You're right. Towns, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Akogi comes in for Jordan McLaughlin. Spurs also with the sub. Murray's checked in. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Passes it to White. Shot clock at five. Here's Simonich. Now the pass to Bialica. Towns against Aldridge. Outside White. From deep. Minnesota with the rebound. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Inside. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Murray. White looking around. Pass to Simonich. Let's it go from 11. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Minnesota's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And stolen by Aldridge. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. The Timberwolves were fined last season for resting D'Angelo Russell on the road in a nationally televised game. Minnesota said, we're a player-centric organization that's focused on learning and optimizing our players' bodies. Guys, they do seem willing to pay a fine here or there to protect their players' health. Back to you. Well, as a player, how couldn't you like that? Always watching out for it. David, thank you for that one. Here's Towns following the score by DeJounte Murray. Four on the clock. And it's Towns missing. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. White, good. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Pass to a Kobe. points for him. No, no good. That miss takes him to three for seven. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Lehman passed the trick. A dig out to town. Over Aldridge. And it's off the back rim. No good. And this is a shot he can definitely make. And the defense not a factor at all. White, good. White's got the lead up to five now for the Spurs. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused.
Russell, he's checked in for Minnesota. Johnson, he's checked in for the Spurs. So it's Minnesota now, trailing by five. A Kogi, the pass to Johnson. Outside, Russell, pocket six. Basket is good, the assist from Johnson. Russell's got 14. And they're hitting the long-range shots that they were missing in the first quarter, but still have ground to make up. And that one drops. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. There's the three. Here's Towns. And stolen by Aldridge. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. Passes it to Murray. San Antonio needs to get off a shot here. Aldridge can't get it to go. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now here's Towns. For just the fourth time today, it is good. That one makes him four for ten. I'll tell you what, it's hard to stop Carl Anthony Towns when he's looking to score. He's got every trick at his arsenal. Here's Aldridge, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Greg, LaMarcus Aldridge taking more three-pointers last season, easily passing his career highs in attempts with almost three a game. And Aldridge shot a very respectable percentage from outside. In order Take to play break. heavy minutes at the Two floor, shots. you need to be able to shoot. Good to see Aldridge still adding new wrinkles to his game. And the first one at the line is good. Greg, you really began to emerge and got on the national scene at UNLV, but you started your college career at Portland where you were actually named the conference freshman of the year. Uh, yeah, how about I actually averaged more points in Portland than in any season I played at Vegas. Totally different roles, but Portland's always going to have a sweet spot in my heart. My first child was born in the great city of Portland. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Russell, count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. When D'Angelo Russell has that offensive game working, you just want to play through him. Here's Medu. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's Johnson and the rejection by Towns. Minnesota's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Russell from long range, but he stays with it. And the pass to Okogi. Tries again. Spellman with the bucket. Spellman's got the game tied up here for the Timberwolves. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Pass to Johnson. with the defensive effort. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. A Kogi misses. San Antonio's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. And it's Walker penetrating. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. One thing we've seen from Eastman is he is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Now the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Spurs. Mills comes in for DeJounte Murray. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And uh, San Antonio shooting under 40% all in all for the game. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the one he's had tonight. His production has been unbelievable. A testament to how much he cares about his craft. Now here's Johnson. He's got five. And the rejection by Towns. 
But terrific effort by Town. Sticks with the play and sends it back. Vernon Gomez kicks to Towns. It's stolen by Johnson. And the Spurs pushing it up now. Will not go. This is off the front eye. And he's really trying to get them back into it, but the results just have not been there. And it's Towns on the follow. Towns has got four points now in the quarter. Boy, how about the anticipation for Carl Anthony Towns? Beats everyone to the spot and goes right back up with it. San Antonio calls timeout. You look at D'Angelo Russell. What a contribution. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. Checked in for Josh Akogi. The league's long-distance bombers are setting their sights on the three-point contest this season. Here are some of the early favorites to make up the field. And I love the way the voting is shaping up, Kevin. We'll have an excellent contest if these are the shooters who are firing away on All-Star Weekend. And you look at Russell. He's going to need to leapfrog quite a few great shooters if he's going to be a part of the three-point festivities in All-Star Weekend. But, you know, maybe he can do it. I mean, it, anything's possible, especially if he has a few big games from beyond the arc before All-Star Weekend. That'd give him a nice bump in the voting. And we'll keep you posted as we find out more and as we get closer to the three-point contest once we have our final list of official contestants. Yeah, it's going to be very competitive. That, that's the one thing we all know. We, we've got an incredible group of long-distance shooters in this league right now. Here's Gibson after D'Angelo Russell's bucket. Hills with it. Eight points for him. Count that one. And the Timberwolves lead has been cut down to just four points in the bucket from Medu. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I, I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Russell with the bucket. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. you got to keep getting him touches. And here's Mills. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Medu can't hit. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. High arcing shot, and McLaughlin gets it to go. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. Here's Mills. Pass to Medu. Shot clock at six. Gibson for three. Spellman with the rebound. Spellman's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's McLaughlin. He has seven. Towns at the elbow. Takes a three. Mills with the rebound. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Well, it's trying to close the quarter strong, and by that, take a great shot without giving them an opportunity for another one down the other end. McLaughlin, the pass to Spellman. Lets it fly, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. 
Thank you, Kevin. Carl, you guys have built a lead. What is the key to maintaining or increasing it going forward? I mean, don't change what we're doing. Just stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. You had the advantage in the first half. We'll see if you can keep that advantage in the second half. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. The first half, it was all about D'Angelo Russell. He had 20 points, two rebounds, and one assist. And uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? Well, we're seeing D'Angelo Russell at his best, using his size and using his craft. He could drive and shoot it over the top. A masterful first half. Jack, what did you see from San Antonio? They were strong in transition. Seemed like the guys fed off the higher tempo. Certainly, they definitely got the looks they wanted. Playing an outstanding game. They can keep it up in the second half. They may wear the other side out. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. It's been a clinic out there with D'Angelo Russell. And those extra chances mean so much. And he has shaped the game with the way he's been pulling down those offensive boards. Really putting his handprint on this game. You love the hustle. You love the work ethic he has had on display. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Here's who Greg Popovich is starting in the second half. DeJounte Murray is out there with White. Then it's Nemanja Bialica. Then there's LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Johnson in at the three slot. Freer, that's good. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's White. A rebound by the Timberwolves. From outside the arc. And off target that time from Freer. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. And White kicks to Aldridge. Here's Murray. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And really hard trying to distract Aldridge. I mean, when this guy's determined to score, he's going to capitalize no matter what. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Timberwolves leading by five. Right side, Russell. Here's Akogi. He's guarded by Johnson. And the basket by Akogi. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive mate in the paint. Murray against Russell. And that one, good. Murray's got six. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Here's Greer. He's given them a healthy dose of offense each and every night with an average of 20 points a game. Yeah, easy call. The Timberwolves made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. At the line for two. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Both good from the line that time. 
So it's the Spurs now. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Passes it to Aldridge. Rebound Minnesota. Towns has got 15 rebounds here tonight. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. I'll tell you, his shot is just lost right now. There's just no consistency. Amazing that they're still up in this basketball game. Jacks up a three, buries it from three-point range. Towns has got the lead up to 10 now for the Timberwolves. Outside, White. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one is on Towns. For San Antonio, they haven't made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. And that one falls for White. And both free throws good for White. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. They're leading by eight. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Murray with the defensive effort. Here's White. And there it is for him. White's got 14 points for the game. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bottom. The pass to Trier. Now here's Towns. Back to Trier. Doesn't go for him. White with the defensive effort. Spurs trail by six. It's Aldridge high post. Murray left side. And the three ball is good. Nine points in the game so far. Just another way Aldridge beats you. As a facilitator, very comfortable making decisions. Minnesota calls timeout. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? Checked in, and Lehman subbed in for Josh Akogi. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Summon it just checked in. Now, here is Russell. 20 points for him. Basket good. And the Timberwolves lead by five. When Russell gets his teammates involved, it makes this entire team better, and it'll make him more effective at the point position. White, good. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now, here is Russell. His numbers are borderline ridiculous in the best way possible at the moment. He's averaging nearly 33 points a game. It's good. You have the sense that D'Angelo Russell likes to play through contact. This is a tough-minded player. Back to Murray. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Minnesota leading by three. Outside, Russell. Pass to Lehman. Johnson outside. 
Read the pass to Trier. From deep three-point range, but they get it back. Johnson finds Russell. Tries to keep it alive. And out of bounds as San Antonio gains possession. Some changes for Minnesota. Omari Spellman comes in for James Johnson. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Bonnie Walker, he's checked in for White. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. Emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. It's stolen. Reed gets the bucket. Reed's got four points in the quarter. Spurs trail by five. Murray outside. Pass to Simonich. Fires from 14. Here with the rebound. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And there's the call. San Antonio the foul. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Numbers this year at the line break. below break. 70. So when he's Three getting shot. to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. And he knocks down the first one. And the Spurs with some changes. Gibson comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Mills in for Murray. And so he hits both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Pass to Bialica. Here's Reed. He has five. Here's McLaughlin. Covered by Mills. Spurs trail by seven. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Gibson. Knocked away. Count that bucket. Oh boy, Taj Gibson unafraid in the face of contact. How tough is this guy? Here's Trier, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Yeah, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. Oh, right, and wasn't the timing ideal? My goodness, the D with no chance to react. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Here's McLaughlin. He's got seven. Here's the pass to Trier. Shot from free throw range. They get it back. Three. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Shooting for Minnesota. Now three. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Hernan Gomez is checked in. Medu, he's checked in for San Antonio. He hits the second from the line. And it's Mills with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. So the wing on the left. From D. Walker. San Antonio getting another chance here. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. Minnesota leading by six. Here's Trier. Six points for him. Here's Spellman and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Well, just it's easy to say this guy wanted it more. Creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. Now here's Mills. He's got 12. 
Add basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Pass to Trier. Here's Reed. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Six on the shot clock. Here's McLaughlin, covered by Mills. No good off the front iron. To the inside, and it's Gibson finishing it off. Well, you combine size, aggression, and toughness, and you get Taj Gibson. My goodness, nicely done. Passes it to Trier. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Trier's got eight. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Mills, and it's denied. Three on three. Here's Juan Gomez. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. And it's an eight-point Minnesota lead. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense in no time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Walker finds Gibson. He doesn't hit that one. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. The pass to McLaughlin. Here's Reed, defended by Gibson. Here's McLaughlin, and he's good on the three ball. McLaughlin's got the lead up to 11 now for Minnesota. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Outside, Walker. Looking for Gibson, he gets it there. To end the run. Minnesota with the rebound. Reeves got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Offensive rebound. Timberwolves leading by 13. Freer from long range. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Freer's got 11 points here in just the second half. Now Walker from the arc. Reed with the rebound. Reed's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. Here's McLaughlin. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. And he gets the bucket. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. And so it's Minnesota. Their lead at 15 going into the break. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. You've got Russell, and it's Towns in at the center position. So that's the Timberwolves' five. 14 feet away. Russell, no good. Spurs trail by 15. Here's Johnson. It's blocked. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Here's Hernan Gomez. The rebound by the Spurs. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Well, after netting one in the first half, that's the second deep ball to go down for this guy. Outside, Russell. For three, a Kogi. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got three assists now in this one. 
And, and guys, getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Pass to Spellman. It's hauled in by LaMarcus Aldridge. Aldridge has got six rebounds here tonight. To the middle. And Aldridge slams it in. And this is the power you like seeing from Aldridge, leaving no room for error with that flush. James Johnson's checked in for the Timberwolves. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Spurs. Murray comes in for Patty Mills. And that one falls for LaMarcus Aldridge. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Deep two from Russell. Minnesota gets it back at a new shot clock of 14 seconds. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Hernan Gomez against Johnson. Plays it up and banks it in. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Here's a Kobe. It's Russell with the drive. Over Murray. Nails the 16-footer. Russell's got 24. To me, you've got to stay attached to D'Angelo Russell, especially when he's in those in-between areas. Here's Murray, and it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. Well, so great when your offense produces a shot that close to the rim. The rest of the work becomes easier. Back to Russell. For Murray. Again, Russell missing. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for San Antonio. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Murray for three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Johnson's got four rebounds now tonight. Russell looking it over. Here's the teardrop. Good on the shot. Russell's got four points now in the quarter. This guy an effortless score. Outside, inside, in between. Dynamic score is D'Angelo Russell. White, good. Oh, that's a pretty bounce pass. Nice. Timberwolves leading by 12. Outside, Russell. And the slam dunk by Russell. D'Angelo Russell rises up and drops the hammer. Pass to Aldridge. Over Towns. And it's Aldridge missing. Timberwolves have gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. And they double up Russell. Kogi for three. It's rebounded by Aldridge. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. Here's Kogi. He's covered by Murray. Kogi misses. Spurs trail by 14. Goes up on the wing, and it's White missing. Russell against Murray. And they double up Russell. To the paint. Here's Ron Gomez. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Murray, the pass to White. Aldridge left side. Shoots over Towns. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Minnesota leading by 16. Passes to a Kogi. 
The pass to Hernan Gomez. Johnson dishes to Russell. A wide open shot from Hernan Gomez. Off target from outside. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. That one good for two. White's got four this quarter. And they're just doomed if they keep letting them post up like that. You've got to deny the position to afford them no opportunity at making that entry pass into the post. And the Timberwolves call time here. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. The lift he got from this home crowd has been obvious. There's nothing fans love more than getting a big game out of someone other than one of their stars. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, Taylor Jenkins just reviewed his plan with his team. He talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to see the rest of the way. Engagement at both ends and making good decisions with the ball. Guys? Thank you, David. They are attacking the rim and getting great results. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. As the Bialites, Aldridge trying to break free. A three-pointer off the mark. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. And it's good for two. Russell's got eight points here in this quarter. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Here's Aldridge. Rebound, Minnesota. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Here's Trier. Russell passes to Johnson. Six to shoot. Basket counts. And the Timberwolves lead by 20. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why. They hold the lead. Well, they've absolutely dominated that category in this one, and it's reflected in the score. Kept alive. Well, not sure who was responsible for the blockout, but this guy got in there and dug out his points. Here's Trier. Russell left side. Here's Towns. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. And with the frequency of three-point shots shot. skyrocketing, Greg, does the drastic change concern you? And should something be done to, to lessen the dependence these teams have on threes? It's crazy. I mean, we're starting to see teams take more threes than twos. You mm. know, some have said maybe limit fouls on three-pointers to only two free throws. Uh, that might eliminate some of the flopping on those long-range attempts, but I really feel like this is the evolution of the game, and that three it is going to be vital. Aldridge can't get it to go. Timberwolves leading by 21. Here's a Kogi, and he banks in the layup. They are just killing them on the interior. And it's Mills with the ball for San Antonio. Pass to Aldridge. The shot from the low post is good. 18 points for LaMarcus Aldridge. A favorite spot of Aldridge's. He likes to operate as close to the rim as possible. Russell finds Johnson. Back to Russell. Shoots over Mills. And Russell gets it to go on the assist by Johnson. Russell's got 12 points here in the second half. Now 
here's Mills. He's guarded by Russell. Shots good by Mills. Minnesota's gotten just one of four three pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the quarter. Russell left side. Count it good. Russell's got 12 now in this fourth. Any point guard in the NBA, particularly one who is not a huge sized guy, has got to have the floater in his disposal. Go ahead, D'Angelo. Back to White. Good on the bucket. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Chalk up two there. Russell's got 36. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Timberwolves. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. Uh, they just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And they took charge when it counted, and they'll be notching their ninth win overall. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for D'Angelo Russell. What a relentless scoring night for this guy in attack mode all evening. And so LaMarcus Aldridge nails them both. Greg, after we saw top prospects like LaMelo Ball and R.J. Hampton playing a year in Australia, the NBA G League sweetened the deal to attract those blue chippers to this, uh, to this G League, which I think is a very interesting uh, topic and a, and a very interesting way to go. It, it is. You know, I think the salaries now could exceed a half million dollars, not to mention the endorsement deals. And, they're on a single team that's built around their needs. Certainly an enticing option for those who want to skip the college route. Does this affect colleges, in your opinion, and their recruiting? Not at all. You're going to love your school no matter who plays for them, especially if you're winning. And you could see he knew exactly where that long rebound was coming off, able to get there quickly and snatch it up. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for Minnesota, Alonzo Trier. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. He hits both from the strike. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Noah in the post. Makes it off the glass. I tell you, this guy is not afraid to throw his body around. Joe Kim Noah converts off contact. So it's Minnesota winning this one East. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.